And this is Bottle Cup's daughter from last, uh, from three years ago. Nuka is. So this is daughter and mama right here going at it. Hey y'all, welcome back to the channel. I'm Mike with Fowler Family Farm. It's time to give y'all an update. So all the chickens are doing good. Fence needs to be adjusted a few places, but overall it's doing pretty well. They're respecting it for the most part. But this fence right now is being charged by, so you can probably hear it clicking right here. So this fence is being charged by this electric fence over here. So it's not as powerful as it needs to be because it doesn't have enough juice. But it's doing its job for the most part. So today's the big day. We've already got the goats out. Today is the day we move them out back to the pasture. Look at this. Bottle cap is fully attached to her baby. No more reason for us to hold her. She's doing good. Oh, what do you got, dude? No. No, 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 no. Give me that. Ah, you gotta be careful with these little goats. I think everything is food. Nope, stay back, buddy. Look how fat this sucker is. You are a big fat dude. Hey, look here. Yeah. So Cinnamon's baby's doing good. Bottle Cups baby's doing good. So that means there's really no more need for me to have them in this pen. They've been in the pen a little over a week. Um, if you guys have been keeping track of this, keeping up with it, Cinnamon um, was attached to her baby pretty, pretty quick. Like within a day and a half, she was pretty well attached. She let him eat fairly quick too. Um, bottle Cap was a struggle, but struggle no more. Look at that, it's awesome. And in the past, I've never had problems with either of these two mamas. They've never um, got rid of their babies like that. Or I don't even really know what you call that, where they don't let their babies eat. I'm sure there's a term for that, but I've never had an issue with it, with these two mamas. Um, the only time I've ever had an issue with it was one goat last year, and that was Ginger Snap. And this year, she's doing great. She has two babies, and she's taking care of them both perfectly fine. So... We're gonna move them out. I'm gonna go get some grain so they'll follow me. And hopefully the babies will follow us too. So I'll have to come back and carry them over as well. All right, I got the grain. Um, but before we go move them over, let's go check on the ducks too. Cause if y'all remember, I've got a few baby ducks now too. Okay, they are still in the, hey, get back. Y'all quit fighting. Well, you there. So let's go take care of the uh, goats and I'll come back and they still got some feed. They still got feed, I just need to add some water for them. As you can see, their water was empty, so they were trying to eat it. I swear, they're so destructive. Hey, that's chicken feed. Y'all aren't even supposed to be out. Come on, bottle cap. Come on, girl. Yeah, Cinnamon knows what's up. Come on, girl. Bottle cap likes her pen, I guess. Come on. Come on, buddy. Come on. Talking to them like they're dogs. Well, the babies aren't with us. Mamas are. Oh, okay. You guys gotta go get your babies. Go get your babies. Come on, go get your babies. Oh, there's one. He's got a leaf. Picked up a leaf, there they are. Come on, guys. Come on, fellas. You trying to eat a leaf? Oh, cinnamon. <laughs> Come on. Well. They found green grass, so they are no longer interested in their ice cream. It's right there. They're more interested in the green grass. 
I guess that's all right. The boys are still over here by the door. They won't venture any further than the door. I gotta get them to follow us too. I don't really wanna make two trips. It's not a big deal. They come right to me. Let's go. Come on. Come on, guys. This ain't your home no more. You're gonna go be with a bunch of goats. You're gonna make some good friends. Well, that one is right there is way bigger, isn't he? Y'all ready? Go make some new friends. Okay, so I do have bottle cap and cinnamon back over there. They'll get picked on for a day or two. But the uh, babies are still over here. I couldn't get them to follow, so. Let me go grab them. Oh, they're coming towards me. Let me go grab them and put them in here and we'll be done with this part. I got plenty of chores to do the, today though. Well, your mamas are right over there. Let's go. Come on. Well, come on. Okay, just like that. Got them over there. Bottle cap and her baby reunited already. Same as Cinnamon and her baby. And I might as well show you all the babies that are already out here. These two are boys. They're both ginger snaps. And she's doing a really, really good job of taking care of them this year. That one is Beauties. He is growing really, really well. I'm sorry, she. That is a girl, actually. Beauty's done really well the first two years of her being a mama. And then the other two are right by their mama. I'll show you them. They're both girls, too. They are right... Where's my finger? They are right there. That is Crybaby and her two babies. And like I said, they're both girls. So this is what I'm talking about. There will be some picking on. They will pick on bottle cap and cinnamon for a day or two. They were all just head buttoning her, but I guess they're, they're, they're after her. Look at them. <laughs> this is normal though. It's part of the herd, it's part of what they do. And this is Bottle Cup's daughter from last, uh, from three years ago. Nuka is. So this is daughter and mama right here, going at it. And as y'all can see, Cinnamon's the smart one. She kind of just stays off over here on her own for now. She just kind of blends in. She does this every time we put her back in. So they'll do this for a while, a couple of days. They'll figure it out. What happens though is they end up ganging up on her. So it's like three against one. Are you gonna come watch Toro? Pancake, are you gonna watch? All right, so let's go back inside, check on the ducks one more time and give them some water. They got plenty of food. We'll give them some more water. Um, we do have to fill that water up for the ducks several times a day. Hey, what are y'all doing? We have noticed Donald here is picking on one of our barred rocks. I don't know if it's that one or the other one, but we can't be having that. We may have to take him out and put him back where he know, I think it's this one, yeah. It's this barred rock here that he's picking on. Okay, you ducks are all by yourself in here now. You got the place to yourself. Really? Nothing to say about that? No, thank you? All right, I'm gonna go get you some water.
Okay, you're welcome. Gave them some water. They got up here quick. They're thirsty. Cute. Just cute. All right. Um, I've taken care of bottle cap and cinnamon, took care of the ducks and the chickens, fed them. I've got to go do the uh, little dolings out here, but I plan on doing them probably a couple hours from now after I get back from town. i got to run to town and get some uh, material, building material. So, speaking of that, let me take you inside and show you what we've done, and I'll put in a little clip of what I shot yesterday of some work I did in the bathroom. Okay, so I asked Tanya this morning before she left for work what she wanted me to work on. The tile and the floor and the shower or this back wall back here. I think y'all can see that. And that is needing sheetrock and shelving and things like that because we're going to have some inset shelves in there. And believe it or not, she actually said the sheetrock and the shelves. I really thought she was going to say the tile and the floor and get that shower working. Kind of shocked me when she said this. So today I plan on working on this a little bit. Really, I'm just going to show y'all bits and pieces of this. It's going to be a long process, kind of an all day thing. I don't want to take up a, an hour of your day just watching me do this. So I'm just going to show you bits and pieces of it. So as you can see, it's kind of hard for me to show you this area right here. It's so, you know, it's such tight quarters. It's where the toilet's at. But Tanya decided she wanted shelves between these studs, like each one. So she's gonna have three different shelves here and it's gonna be about a two foot area, two foot span in here. Um, remember, this is the toilet paper. This opening here will be toilet paper where the actual rolls are. And this is gonna be toilet paper storage over here. Okay, as you see, I, I've already put this piece in and this piece, and that's because on these ends right here, I just screwed in right here. And then underneath here, I do the uh, pocket holes on both of them. And then the piece that's gonna go right here is gonna have pocket holes on both sides. So y'all know, uh, here's my, it's a star bit, okay? And when I was putting my pocket holes in, the screws on this first board. I went to go do the second board and I couldn't find this, the bit, right? So I look all over the place for it. Look on the floor, thought I'd put it in my pockets. I mean, I went every, I've spent 10 minutes looking for this and I was like, oh, wait a minute, I bet it's still in the screw. It just came off and sure enough, 10 minutes wasted because this little thing was left on the screw. I'm sure some of y'all have done that before Makes you feel dumb, but oh well. Okay, so I have the top. I'm not sure if y'all are gonna be able to see. So I have the top pieces in, all three of them. Uh, I've got all three of the bottom pieces in, and now I've got my sheetrock for my drywall. Uh, I'm doing this by myself. So I'm gonna clamp some two by fours up against here. Uh, at four feet that way I can pull this sheetrock or a drywall up set it on my two by fours that are clamped in here that'll act as hands hopefully okay so you can see this is the drywall I just put up I use these clamped two of them it's a little below four feet as you can see I stick my drywall in there and then I just push up here right here I push up so it'll hit the ceiling up there. And then I put one in this corner, put one in this corner, and then tap these two in. And now I'm good. Now I just gotta, gotta go up there and screw all these in and add all the screws. It's about the only way I can do it by myself. Cause that's a half a sheet of drywall right there and it gets pretty heavy. Okay, y'all can obviously see the mess this causes. So you can see where I've cut this out right here. And then this one, I've already scored it here. I already scored it right here. So that one comes out. And then this one, done the same thing, scored it. But I, I gotta keep going. So I gotta go a little further up. I've got the top two by fours are right up in here somewhere. I'll have to find them. Okay, so you can see I've cut them all out. They are different sizes, so. I'm just gonna have to deal with that. Now you can see that top 
two by four right there all the way across that'll be my recessed shelves now I just need to come down and start from here and go down do the same thing start cutting stuff out you can see the mess it makes so just to kind of show y'all the finished product for now this is the shower obviously all the sheetrock is on that's gonna be the three shelves they are three different sizes or three different widths and then you're gonna come down to the toilet paper side haven't figured out what that's gonna be yet so we're gonna to run to town pick up some of the uh, building materials that we're gonna finish this out with Tanya actually just wants to use fence pickets uh, to frame all the shelves and everything in. and that's because the back wall back there right behind the toilet is gonna be fence pickets that's stained stained fence pickets what say it again and Facebook say hi Facebook family Awesome. At the Feller family farm. Come on.